If your car's engine is overheating intermittently or occasionally returning to normal temperatures, there are several common causes to consider and steps you can take to address the issue. Start by checking the coolant level. Ensure the engine is cool before you open the coolant reservoir, as the liquid can be hot. Look for the high and low markers on the reservoir. If the coolant level is low, top it up with the appropriate coolant. If the coolant level is fine, the next component to check is the thermostat. The thermostat is a crucial component that regulates engine temperature. It remains closed when the engine is cold, preventing coolant from flowing into the radiator until the engine reaches operating temperature. As the engine warms up, the thermostat gradually opens to allow coolant to flow through the radiator, helping to maintain the engine's optimal temperature. When a thermostat malfunctions, it can get stuck in the closed position, causing the engine to overheat continuously. Alternatively, it might only open partially, leading to intermittent overheating and cooling. To check the thermostat, located under the housing at the top of the engine, connected to the hose leading to the radiator. One common method to test it is with an infrared temperature gun. Measure the temperature on each side of the thermostat to see if there is a significant difference. A properly functioning thermostat should show similar temperatures on both sides. Another approach is to observe the temperature change before and after the thermostat to assess its performance. Many people opt to replace the thermostat if they suspect it's faulty, as it's a relatively inexpensive part, typically costing between $5 and $10. For detailed testing methods, you can find various helpful videos online. Checking the thermostat is an essential step in diagnosing engine overheating issues. If the thermostat appears to be functioning correctly, the next potential issue could be air pockets within the coolant system. Air pockets can disrupt the flow of coolant and reduce its efficiency in transferring heat, which can lead to overheating and other problems. Typically, if there are air pockets in the coolant system, you might notice that the heater isn't working properly or at all. This is because the air pockets interfere with the flow of coolant through the heater core. If you experience inconsistent heating or overheating issues, air pockets could be the culprit. To remove air pockets from the coolant system, you can use a coolant filling jug or tool. Attach the jug to the coolant reservoir or, in some cases, directly to the radiator. Fill the jug with coolant and start the engine. As the engine runs, it will help to purge the air pockets from the system. The bubbles will escape through the jug allowing coolant to fill the system properly. These filling jugs are available at automotive stores, or you can find DIY methods and tutorials online if you prefer a homemade solution. If you suspect air pockets, checking and bleeding the coolant system is a crucial step to resolve overheating issues. If everything else checks out, the next component to investigate is the radiator cooling fans. Depending on your vehicle, there may be one or two fans that help cool the coolant as it flows through the radiator. Cooling fans typically engage when the vehicle is moving at speeds under 25 to 30 miles per hour. At higher speeds, airflow through the radiator is sufficient for cooling and the fans aren't needed. If the engine overheats while idling or at low speeds but cools down when driving faster, this suggests a potential issue with the cooling fans. To diagnose this, observe if the engine overheats during city driving or when stopped at traffic lights. If it does, and the temperature drops when you drive at 35 to 40 miles per hour, it likely indicates a problem with the cooling fans. In this case, you'll need to inspect the cooling fans for proper operation and potential issues. If everything else checks out and you're still experiencing overheating issues, the next thing to consider is the engine coolant temperature sensor. When this sensor fails, it can send incorrect data to the onboard computer, which might make it seem like the engine is overheating, even when it is not. As a result, the temperature gauge may indicate overheating when the engine is actually running fine. Some vehicles have multiple coolant temperature sensors, such as one on the radiator and another on the engine block. 
For example, a 2018 Dodge Charger has specific sensor placements, so it is important to identify which sensors your vehicle has and where they are located. If your gauge shows overheating, but the engine is in T-hot, it is likely that the coolant temperature sensor is faulty. Check and test the sensor to ensure it is functioning correctly. If everything else seems to be in order, the next step is to consider flushing the engine coolant system. Over time, debris and buildup can accumulate and clog the system, leading to overheating issues. Flushing the system can help remove this buildup and ensure proper coolant flow. There are a few methods to flush the coolant system. First, simple drain and refill. Drain the old coolant, then refill with fresh coolant. Second, drain, flush, and refill. Drain the coolant, add new coolant. Let the engine run for 5-10 minutes, drain it again, and then refill with fresh coolant. Third, hose flush. Use a hose to flush water through the system while collecting the old coolant in a bucket until the water runs clear. Choose the method that best suits your needs. But the key is to ensure the entire system is clean and free of debris. Finally, if everything else checks out, consider that the water pump might be failing. The water pump circulates coolant through the engine and radiator. If it starts to fail, it can cause overheating issues. Typically, a failing water pump leads to constant overheating, but in some cases, it might cause intermittent problems. Often, a failing water pump will leak coolant due to a damaged seal. So, if you've addressed all other potential issues and the problem persists, check the water pump. That s a wrap on common causes of overheating that occurs intermittently. If you have additional insights or questions, feel free to comment below. If this video was helpful, please like, subscribe, and have a great day.